What's up, Everyday Blades? We're about to do a disassembly and maintenance on the new CKF Rampage Custom Knife Factory. Just getting all my bits here together, seeing what size we need. So that is a T20 for the pivot. And what we got on our body screws here, that looks pretty small. Looks like it's going to be a T6. Well, that's even too big. I don't like them when they get that small. Yep, what size is that? That should be a T6, yep. <clears throat> we have bits like a kit. Never let you down. Even if you're in a bind and you don't have a driver, it's its own driver. Okay, today we're going to use the Scout Leather Company, Big Burley. We are going to start with the body screws. I'm really impressed with this knife. So when this knife came out, <clears throat> I really wanted it. And they only released like, I don't know, 50 or something is what I heard. It was very few, like a pre-release. <clears throat> And man, everybody hung on to them like they were gold. Nobody was letting them loose. I was offering some pretty sweet trades and couldn't get one. So the next 200 dropped recently. And of course, I missed the drop. Didn't get it there. Let's go for the big pivot T20. And uh, so <clears throat> I knew there would be some people out there that just bought it to sell it. So I waited for the right opportunity. And I paid a little bit over table, but I'm satisfied with the deal I got. <clears throat> I don't normally do a disassembly on all the knives that I review, but I wanted to do this one because there's a couple of things here. <clears throat> one is the extra work done on the interior of the scales. Now that's, that's just cool. That's, that's kind of a, uh, um, an extra step a lot of builders don't do. Uh, and I just, I think it's cool. And the extensive, extensive skeletization. This knife is crazy. Like you'll see in my review. So um, I'm a big fan of this mat that I have. I got it off of uh, Amazon. So you got to be careful with these CKF bearings. They are not caged bearings, as a lot of people think. So when you wipe this grease off of here, these bearings are going to take off because the grease is the only thing holding them in. They are not caged bearings. They'll pop right out of there. So what I like to do is just leave a hair of grease in there and clean the outside. And I'm going to gently set them over there and hope none of the bearings come out. I did a Sokasha, I don't know, a month or so ago, not knowing these weren't caged bearings. It's just a bearing race uh, with loose bearings in it. Um, not knowing that these were, let's see, we got a little piece of paper towel in there we don't want. That can cause havoc. I didn't know that these weren't caged bearings. Well, it's gonna give me problems, ain't it? I didn't know that these weren't caged bearings and boy, I soaked them in alcohol in one of my little pockets up here. And it went to giving me problems. Them bearings went everywhere like a sure gore off, which if you know ahead of time, that's fine. And that's kind of why I tell people and kind of why I do these videos. So I want to clean my pivot up. Get all the nasty off of it. Clean my screw up. Take my screw and just turn it into the alcohol soap rag, right? And this, this knife is brand new. It's not dirty. But it's also running off grease, and grease is fine. Grease will do everything you need it to do, but I use oil. I use a lightweight oil. Just for me, it works better. But nothing wrong with grease. Then we want to clean these bearing races. Any goop over there. A couple of little sand particles can cause you lots of problems. Microscopic sand particles cause you lots of problems with this stuff. So clean your... You want to clean your lock face? Get all the good, look at all the goop that was on there. That'll cause lock stick. 
And then we want to clean up our uh, backspacer. Get all the no, this is a zirconium backspacer. I'm a big fan of zirconium. All right, so no big surprises here. We are gonna go back with her now. I'm not gonna take the pocket clip apart, even though it is kind of unique. Look how it has the screw through it to hold it. Almost looks like it pivots. And I guess it would if it could go that way, but it can't. So really unique. It kind of it's kind of stiff and it grabs the pocket a little bit, but it does a job. So let's put our bearing races back in. I had several people argue with me on the in the groups that these were cage bearings. I, I know they look like that, but they're just they're just not. Let's get our pivot set. Actually, we need our pivot collar. And then we want to set our pivot. And we want to put a light. And listen, I know there was some kind of, this is KPL, and I know there's some kind of big uproar about the guy that owns that and some other brand. I, I don't care. I don't get into any of that. I don't, I don't give a damn. I, I use what works, and I can tell you that I don't, I haven't found a difference in any of this stuff. I mean, knife pivot lube works great. Blue lube works great. I'll use any of it in place of the other, and it won't bother me a bit. It all does the job. I just have found that um, oil works better than grease. That's the one thing for me, it works better for what I do. And I put a dab there, dab there. Do like four tiny little dabs. You gotta be careful that stuff will drip down on your lock face. And I'll probably over oil just a little bit, but it works. Let me wanna set our backspacer back. Get it in place. Uh, you can tell a lot about the quality of knife by how easy it goes back together. And I can tell you of all the knives I've ever owned, um, the number one is, um, God, what's the name? Grimsmo. The Grimsmo Rask was the easiest knife. I mean, you could take that thing together almost without tools, it felt like. It was just a wonderful knife. Uh, this one's right up there close to it. They, they, I don't know who exactly they have making these knives. They're a Russian company. Don't know, but I hope whoever they have make them that they continue to have make them. And just light pressure on your pivot and flip her over. These are really long, small screws, so I wouldn't even consider Loctite. I mean, first of all, it has to come out a long way for it to cause you a problem. And number two, when you use Loctite on a small screw like that, your chances of busting that screw when you're trying to take it out get really, really high. And I have broken a screw before, and it's not fun trying to find that exact same screw, I can tell you. It's damn near impossible sometimes. So let's switch over to our big burly. Really need to get me another one of these or, or at least break out one of my regular scout drivers. And I'll just put this gentle pressure on there. Nothing crazy. You know, it doesn't take a lot for it to snug up. And this was, uh, this was a little bit draggy. The, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, right in here, you got to put a dab of oil. Right here on that. Get in there, you gotta be careful not to get it on the lock bar. That detent ball, when it's dry, that ceramic rubbing on that metal will cause you trouble. It'll it'll feel like there's shavings in the knife. That's If your knife is ever gritty, that's usually the number one thing that it is. And you just got to get in there and there's a tiny little ball and just get the tip of that wet, right? Just barely let it come out and just touch the top of it. And that's all you need. You don't want a drop. You don't even want half a drop. You just want to get it wet. And then she works great. Now, I did have several people message me, you know, friends and 
acquaintances and tell me, I said several, probably three, and say I probably wouldn't be as hyped about this knife as, as um, that I thought I would. And I, well, I kind of took a pause back and waited a while to get one because of that. And they said that the pivot, I mean not the pivot, but the uh, thumb stud was a pain in the butt to open and it just was an awkward position. I don't know. I know they said you can reposition that and make it easier. I have not repositioned this and this this knife was quote unquote new in the box and everything had, you know, that hint of new in the box, even had like the oil still on it. And, um, I don't know if this is the way the pivot came or if the previous owner turned it around, but man, it just works great for me. I don't have no issues with it. I don't know if some knives are different than others, but I think this knife has a great action. It opens perfect. I love thumb stud knives. They're my favorite. So anyway, there's your disassembly for your CKF Rampage. Uh, not rocket science, but uh, there you go. Guys, thanks for watching. God bless you and your families. Say a prayer for our country. Good night.